In this video, I will explain how the Earth receives radiation from the Sun. First off, this is not Earth. This is a soccer ball that I am using to model our dear planet. If you notice, I am using an artificial light source which is illuminating directly towards some areas of the soccer ball. Now, instead of using the word illumination, we will say radiation. This radiation comes from the sun's rays, represented here by my artificial light. If the soccer ball represented our planet Earth, notice that the areas will be receiving direct sunlight will be the ones closer to the equator line, while the areas closer to the North and South Pole will receive less direct sunlight. Notice the light intensity is higher toward the equator and less intense toward the North and South Poles. Now, this is a poor model due to several reasons. Let me fix one of those problems. There. The Earth spins all day long. This movement is called rotation, and it causes day and night. Day in the lighted areas and night in the areas receiving no light at the time. But how do the seasons, spring, summer, fall and winter occur? It's because the Earth rotates while it is tilted on its side. This tilt is about 23.5 degrees and when an area receives more direct sunlight, we call this summer. In this case, the area pointed is actually receiving less radiation from the sun. Look at how low the intensity is. In this case, this region of the world is most likely experiencing winter. The radiation over the equator doesn't change as much. It will be the region that receives most direct sunlight. Because of this, areas that are closer to the equator will experience high temperatures virtually all year round, with mild changes in heat. So how about the poles? The poles will not experience as much change in seasons, but the temperature will be low virtually all year round with mild changes in temperature. And so, when the Earth rotates, it does it tilted on its side at a 23 degree angle. In this picture, the Earth is tilted on its side rotating around the Sun in this specific position during the month of December. Because of the low radiation the Earth is receiving from the Sun in the northern hemisphere, we can see that the temperatures are going to be most likely colder, producing a winter time in the northern hemisphere. Thanks for watching.